this is Josie. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys and welcome once again back here to my channel. Today we're going to work on a quinceanera centerpiece. We're going to start off by um, making copies, or not copy, but tracing this cutout that I did um, on the styrofoam. I just simply went online, I googled silhouette heel or heel silhouette and printed it on cardstock paper and cut it out so it could be sort of like my template. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sharpie. It doesn't matter what color guys, because as you guys will see later on, we're gonna spray paint this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna have five center pieces. So of course we are going to trace five times. Next, I'm going to use my awesome cutting tool. <laughs> it is a small kitchen knife, guys. Yes, I am in the works to buying my own um, heat wire cutter. But in the meanwhile, if you don't have one like I do right, don't right now, I'm going to use this. And I'm simply going to very carefully cut along the lines until I finally get it to where it detaches. As you guys can see, it is a very, very um, tedious task. That is why we will be purchasing a new toy pretty soon. But in the meanwhile, we are almost there. Just a little bit more of a wiggly. And this should snap right off. So after I completely cutting one out, I'm going to just go over the edges really smooth um, to make them a little bit more smoother uh, and it won't look so lumpy, but that is how it should look once you are done. Next, we're going to spray paint these candy pink. So after they dry, I'm going to bring it back in and I'm going to start adding the rhinestones. To add the rhinestones, these are three lines big, I guess you can say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them around the styrofoam circle. It looks like I'm going to be a little bit short, but that's a very, very quick fix. So let's go ahead and finish and fix that little gap. All better. Now let's get ready to decorate the hill. To decorate the hill, I went ahead and cut single strand rhinestones. And these are going to go around the hill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add hot glue and then press down, add hot glue, and then keep on going until I'm done 
what with the whole heel. And there you have it. We have completed one side of the heel. Now we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so I finished both sides right now. So the next step is we're going to cover the back and this is four strands of the rhinestones. So I'm gonna measure it like this and cut where it needs to be cut. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it to the back part of the heel. Now I'm going to do the front part of the heel and for that I cut this piece of lace. I'm going to go ahead and glue that to the front part of the heel. Now that we're done decorating the whole heel, I'm gonna go ahead and add the flower. And I'm just going to go ahead and stab the heel so I make like a pre hole on the heel. And that in that little hole, that's where I'm gonna add hot glue so that um, rose bud or carnation bud can stay in and not move. We are almost done. So the last step is to glue the heel to the bottom part of the centerpiece. And to do that, I'm just gonna add hot glue to the bottom of the heel and go ahead and glue it to the circle part. So there you guys have it, this cute heel centerpiece idea you could use for a quinceanera or, or a sweet 16. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment below. Until next video guys, bye.